This is ThinkTech Hawaii. Community matters here. Hello, ha, how you doing? Merry Christmas. Gordo and Pex are here with my good old buddy. Aloha, brother. Happy and holidays, Merry everybody. Happy. Merry Christmas. Let Happy holidays. See that hat, man. See my, oh yeah, play the hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. Did you know this was coming? <laughs> it's the holidays. You guys better have some fun. We're going to have some fun here today. <laughs> Welcome to another Good exciting start. and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. Grab Billy yourself a libation, pull up a chair, you sit down. There we go. There you go. We're All Christmas right. everywhere. We're That's in, right, man. We're it's in, all holidays here. We're in the spirit, and the spirit is in us. Yes, in it is. In more ways than one. And we're going to have a few things today, I think, that'll, that'll show them. High-tech Christmas. We're going to talk about high-tech high -tech Christmas, Christmas. and how it's changed. How it's changed over the decades. You know, it's been really quite a uh, change for me. So, But tell me a little about what, what was Christmas like <laughs> when you were growing up? You were uh, up in Kentucky, right? Uh, in Kentucky, we had a... I'm trying to remember. Our, I think we had like a Rambler. <laughs> a, uh, a, I think a General Dodge Motors. Rambler. Not, was it Dodge or General Dodge. Motors? They Dodge. made a, the Rambler. I think it was a Dodge Rambler. I think it was like turquoise. Yeah. And so, you, you know. You had a car. Oh, yeah. We didn't have a car. No? We, well, how did you, did you go to Grandpa's? We took streetcars. Oh, my Grandpa wasn't around. He, was, he had long passed. I and never saw my Grandpa. When you were a kid? Yeah. Oh, wow. We were pretty darn poor. So what did you so, do for Christmas? Um... How'd you get there, Not first much. of all, since we're talking about transportation <laughs> technology? We didn't, we didn't do all that much. I mean, we were, our parents tried. Yeah? But um, we had the stocking yeah, yeah. with fruit in it. Nice. So, and, uh, so that was that nice. That kept you from getting scurvy in the winter. Yeah, you were scurvy in the winter. That's important. Yeah, so... Um, I'm ta trying to think of technology. Ta like Tangerine. We had, we had um, like, trees. We would go to my grandparents, and they would always have, a, like, a tree mm. with lights and everything. A live tree? Or a dead cut down tree. Well, there was two. Oh, and a fake tree too. There was the, the my grandmother I think would put the fake like flocked one up, and it was real. You weren't allowed to touch it or okay. go up. You could, she had the things on the covers on the furniture. You didn't go in the living room. Oh, oh, the plastic covers oh, on the furniture. Oh, you didn't go up there. Not the kids. <laughs> not not that. No I one on watching this show is going to remember that. Oh yeah, furniture. they would get new furniture and then cover it up. I don't know. I don't know who sat on it, but it was never the and, kids. And then they put the um, uh, covers on the lamps, and the lamps never went on it. Either. I don't remember. I don't remember that they could have. Yeah. But I remember that white tree and the light, and it would have lights. I think it had like a a thing that had four colors that would spin around, so it would change because it was flocked white, so what? it would change like a green, yellow, like the primary colors. Wow. That was technology back then. It wow. was like a light wheel. Wow. And it wasn't very exciting. Ours was not even close to being that exciting. <laughs> well, that was like, that was Kentucky technology in 1965 or wow. whatever. I don't even know where my folks got the tree. They'd end up getting a tree. I know that. And then um, they would show up, and then we'd decorate it with leftover stuff. And and then my mom would decorate the house. She'd put all this paper stuff up in the ceilings and rings. Yeah. Did you make them rings when you were a kid? Little little cart, you know, color paper. Like chains? Oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. With paste? Yeah, with paste, and you stuck those we, things together. Yeah, we had that around yeah. the house. I remember that. We did, though. I forgot all about that. That was like, that was like forced labor. Yeah, we'd sit you make there. A, and you make one like this long, and you're tired, and your mom's like, no, it's got to stretch across the yeah. room. You're and, like, so it takes all day. And you'd wrap it around the tree, right? Just in some Yeah, and then we did that. Yeah, yeah paper, yeah. Fire you know, highly combustible paper around the tree. <laughs> I didn't think about With those the lights, hazard. you know, when one light would go out, all the, the rest would go out, and you'd spend all day trying, trying to, to find the bad one. to find the bad one. I remember that. I remember that. So it's... So that was it was a low tech yeah. Christmas. I mean, at our I mean, our house was different than my grandparents' house. Yeah, yeah our, well, you know, we just did. I remember one of the things. My father worked was a beer truck driver, and um, that every year they put a Christmas party on for all the beer truck drivers and okay. families. And we go to this event, and we everybody would get a Christmas gift, but my parents would take it away from us. Why? Wow. They said it had to go back to Santa, and um, and we wouldn't get it. Until Christmas Day, and it would show up underneath the tree, and they say, "Hey, look what Santa brought!" Oh, was like regifted. It was regifted from from the oh, <laughs> from, a couple from, days yeah, earlier. Yeah, you got your gift. Wow. Well, that's all right. They had to be creative. <laughs> oh you know? man, I tell you, everybody else got to take theirs home. I see. And we so had to wait like that night. You have three to wait. weeks. Well, three weeks. Wow. I remember one time though, there was I, I got a mechano mechano set. You know those things you put things together, and it was from the beer thing. 
That one I never got that year. They must have liked it. The, the, Maybe it, they got it. It went somewhere else. I don't know where that one ended up, but I never <laughs> got that one. It never came back in. Well, it's like, uh, it's like there's, there's, now you don't have, um, I don't remember like every year. You know, I think I remember some Christmases being better than others and yeah. things like that as a kid. Well, I don't remember much. You know, all I'll know is that it would try to figure out what time the parents would get so blasted they could hardly talk. So did, be, did you have a bunch of people? Uh, no, no. They usually just stayed home and maybe my brothers and maybe some people would come over. Yeah, maybe, family, friends. Maybe not, you know. We it, had like, no, we had like seven aunts and uncles. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and they all had kids. Yeah. Oh, so, so you would be like, yeah, no, we didn't mess. have any of that kind of stuff when we were growing up. Remember, I told you we moved a lot too, so we, you know, we never really set down roots. Okay. So, but it was. Yeah, I was in Louisville, Kentucky, all them years, and we had. It was like we would try to. I remember, like trying to s s steal. First, we would try to steal the the not eggnog because they would have bur bourbon. Okay. I never had eggnog until our, I was in our, my 20s. I don't think our parents, I don't think they mind it, necessarily thought that was a bad, but then we got caught. We always get caught. Right. Because we get drunk, the kids get drunk and act stupid. <laughs> and then we, we would uh, try to <coughs> get the bird, like make a drink. All right. And then we get in trouble. Oh. But you know, we could steal the eggnog, but not the. But not the other stuff. Don't make like a seven and seven or whatever. I don't remember what we did. Yeah, but I know kids, my parents would buy hard liquor for Christmas for them, obviously, not for us. And, you know, by Christmas dinner time, they were pretty oversubscribed. And you, then you could steal a little? Yeah, we, yeah, we could do whatever we wanted. We had, I remember when we were little, when we were, you know, in Kentucky, they give babies like bourbon if your teeth are sore oh, and yeah. stuff, a little, like a teaspoon yeah, yeah, yeah. or a little bit. Yeah, a little bit to So you know, we take were raised on it, I think. Yeah, so it's so a problem. Whiskey? Good I'm old sure. Whiskey. It's a, I don't even know if it's legal today to do that. But. It's probably child abuse, but, you know. <laughs> In this day and age, you can't do anything. But, right, you know, it's still okay but, in Kentucky. But speaking of kind of like, you know, we're talking about high-tech gifts and so on. And so yeah. On, I got a couple of pictures of some things I found that are These kind are of neat. These are from before or now? Oh, this is now. It's definitely oh, okay. not now. The migration yeah, of Christmas. Migration. So, but, you know, you and I do like a beer. So, and, um, yeah. I thought, you know, I wish I'd thought of this one earlier. It's got, got Amazon Prime. But it's a, um, we've got, uh, we got uh, ready to throw up the pictures there. Of our, um, um, what's this one called? It's called a uh, sonic beer foamer. So, oh, so like you just poured it you, all the time, it just stays it just that sits way? there and it keeps the head on the beer all the way through while you're drinking it. So, oh. the head on the beer never goes away. Oh, how cool is that? Well, that'd be nice to have. Yeah, I know I'm throwing out the big hints right now. Yeah, our, <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that are watching, Gordon yeah. needs a sonic, uh, sonic uh, a uh, sonic beer foamer, and we'll put it right maybe here. Maybe our maybe our, some of our watchers will send one of them. I know. We'll, we'll test can, it right on there. Yeah. If you send it, we'll sample we'll, we'll, it, and we'll thank you for it too. A sonic foamer. Sonic foam. So what is it? Sound waves, I guess. Sound waves. It goes up there and keeps, keeps the foam the going. Bubbles. And yeah. So and then interesting. So, yeah. I wonder if it'll just foam over if you just leave it on there. Oh, I don't know. It'll get warm. Well, you have to take it off, I guess, well, and then sit it back on. And then... How long do you think that beer would sit there with that glass that full with you and I sitting there? Well, not, not very. Uh, not very. Not as our track record. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, Moving sonic, on. sonic beer foamer. Anyway, so let's, let's think about what technology has done to, to, done to Christmas now. Yeah. So, uh, and I think I got to thinking about a couple things. How about um, Amazon, right? Yeah. Just your, the pr whole purchasing programs of, of where you, how you buy. UPS, FedEx. Yeah, I don't have to What's, go to the store, but like briefly. Yeah. You know. You don't. I, I'm going to go tonight um, because I always put myself through the pain of doing shopping on one day. Briefly. So that's, yes. that's this afternoon after the gym, and then I'll be there and, and, um, and be ready to go do my shopping. <laughs> Get gift pumped up. Gift cards, here you go. Well, I mean, I, want, gift I, cards. I wonder how, it's still a, a craze, like people, I think, Dude, there's a consumerism thing that's, you know, changed, right? I, I don't remember that. I remember more s the spirit of giving and all that. And, of course, right. when you're kids, you're getting, which you love. But then right. as you get older, you give. But then it's turned, I think, I mean, I'm sure people like to give, but giving is like a click now. Yeah, that's oh, right. Send some stuff. It's not like going and getting something thoughtful. And maybe it's still thoughtful. I'm not going to question the thoughtfulness of the giving, but... It's, it's, it's easier. So one of my friends, this is what he did, and he lives here, but all his family's on the mainland. He goes and buys everything on uh, Amazon, including the wrapping paper, 
Oh. And he sends the gifts and the wrapping paper to his family and tells them to wrap the gift. Well, wrap your own? <laughs> wrap your own. <laughs> That's... I, said, I said, Amazon will wrap the gift for you, well, but he doesn't want to deal with all of that. Well, won't they just unwrap it? And I wouldn't, I mean, as soon as it came, I, I have to be honest, I wouldn't wrap it and wait. <laughs> he, he, obviously, obviously, a bachelor. <laughs> An uncle, he's just Here, saying, oh, he's a, okay. Yeah, well, so that's just, cool. Well, hey, cool you know, kind of thing. Everybody has their own style, yeah. but technology's made it. I mean, I think better. Like it's sure is easy to get give stuff to people. It sure is easy. You sure know? is easy. Well, I mean, uh, speaking of, so I got another got another another gift, what? another high tech gift, uh, the hidden mitten flask. Ah, oh. now this is again. A not good stocking stuffer. Is that a uh, so you can sneak it past like the guards at the football game? Yeah. And your oh, mittens, so if you're there at the game, yeah. it's the hidden mitten flask. I wonder what happens if you get caught. I well, you know, I'm a security guy, so I think like that. Yeah, I know. I wonder if you can get through TSA with a hidden mitten flask. No, that's a metal. Not gonna. I'm yeah, thinking. That's metal. I'm thinking. They're like, could you take your gloves off? As a matter yeah. of fact, I think even in pre-check, you, you're not allowed to wear gloves. Oh, okay. You can leave your jacket on. Oh, okay. You can't. You can or cannot. You can. In no? TS, TSA pre-check. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm on TSA. Pre-check. But I don't know about mittens. Mittens. Okay. I don't can't know about the metal. Mitten? My mittens. If it was empty, maybe. But you know, I then think. What's the point? I think. Um, I think interestingly, a lot of that technology is going to start to show up at these venues. Yep. So you won't be able to sneak in your little. Your. You better do it. Get it this year and use it. Yeah. Get, get for it the this playoffs year. or something, because yeah. you know they're going to be beefing up security yeah. around those stadiums. Well, you know how crazy it's got now. You can't take anything to the beach anymore. No smoking at the beach. No. No drinking at the beach. No beaching at the beach. You know, it's There's almost like the, no swimming. The, you know, swimming at the beach. <laughs> it's not taking everything away. So, wow. but you know, the, the next gift is is for the perfect beachgoer. Okay. And it's very thematic on this show. All right. It's the um, solo cup beer koozie. Uh, see, that's not that's overly not, obvious. I no, mean, not, you'll you'll have to be hunting somebody down, down for that one. You could put a diet Pepsi in there. And that goes with our theme of our show because we have a you know we have a solo we have cup a solo theme cup here. We, we, I should order a couple of those and get those brought we, in there. We that could be like for this if a, a guest does particularly well, they get a solo they get a cup, cup koozie. koozie or every 50th or my episode. Or... Budget could handle it though. I know. Yeah, we'll, have to well see we're not it. very well funded on this show, but yeah. we have fun. We have fun anyway, regardless of our low tech Christmas. So here's another thing that really gets to me is you know people say you know Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Okay. So I'm not a big Happy Holidays fan. Okay. It's Christmas. It's Merry Christmas. So you say Merry Christmas, Christmas. and then after Christmas it's Happy New Year. Okay. Yeah. So, so be direct. So people don't say at Easter time they don't go Happy Holidays. They say Happy oh, Easter. Oh yeah. Right. I say Happy Easter. Yeah. Or Happy Easter. That's yeah, what so. I say with an O. But here's another one. Someone walks down the street and they go um, Happy Holidays, and the other one says Same to you. Okay. You know what I do now when I walk up to them before they say anything? Same to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even say. You know they they don't even it? say Merry Christmas or Happy New Year or whatever. I just go same to you. Wow. How would how would that be? Does that make them think Why about? It? Do you find them be more thoughtful I'm, about what they're saying? I'm an say? old soul, and I kind of like Merry Christmas. So that's and changed. a Merry Christmas to you also. That's changed. I say I say Happy Holidays yeah. a lot. When I write it, I put D A Z E, like Happy Holidays. Days. Okay. Well, you're trying to be a little. Uh, well, so. a lot of people. So I saw I sent my son something, and okay. because I I didn't say. Happy holidays, D A Z E. Mm-hmm. He didn't know who it was from. Oh, because I guess I didn't you, you, sign you it. Were... It was like a table thing. Oh, you know, like flowers or something. Oh, okay. And then, but he didn't know who it was from. Didn't know who it was from. <laughs> so he asked the the people one eight hundred flowers. Well, who's this from? So here's some technology. Okay. They wouldn't reveal my information. Oh, there you go. But they called me. They called because they knew my from the Lord said, we have a request from your deliverer person, whatever yes. you call them. Recipient. To, they want to know who this came from. Okay. Can and since I didn't answer the phone call, I don't know who it was from. But they said, "Can you at least call them and let them know who it was from, or call us back and we'll let them know?" Oh, and I was awesome. like, "Pretty secure for a one eight hundred flowers." Not you know? bad. Like, Not bad. Holy cow. Okay. Well, speaking of secure, we're going to take a break. You're going to come back with a security I got minute. A little, little tip. A little tip. And I've got um, Angus has something. Awesome. He's getting in trouble because of his Christmas lights. Always. And always. So Angus, he's always up it's to It's not something. Christmas if Angus. Anyway. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in about a minute. Merry Christmas. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. 
elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Freedom. Is it a feeling? Is it a place? Is it an idea? At Dive Heart, we believe freedom is all of these and more, regardless of your ability. Dive Heart wants to help you escape the bonds of this world and defy gravity. Since 2001, Dive Heart has helped children, adults, and veterans of all abilities go where they have never gone before. Dive Heart has helped them transition to their new normal. Search DiveHeart.org and share our mission with others, and in the process, help people of all abilities imagine the possibilities in their lives. Hey, aloha everybody. Welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii. This is Ivachi Talk, and I got a, I'm Andrew, the security guy, I got a quick tip for you. Uh, something you may have not come across, but when you're buying gift cards, because I know a lot of you like to give gift cards to people, uh, make sure you check that little code cover, the thing you scratch off, that it's not been tampered with. There's some um, scans, it's been going on a while, but this year it seems to be more of it, uh, where guys actually get that code, they, they scratch that off, they get the code, and then they replace that cover. Then when you pay your 50 bucks and activate that card, they're monitoring that account already and they go spend that money for you. Your person gets a chance to spend on their gift. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, anyway, Angus is here for Christmas. What's up, brother? You looking good. Merry Christmas, there. All right, good I know, to see you. I got myself all, I got my all Christmas stuff, right? You looking sharp. I love yeah, your uh, yeah. outfit the, the there, The last man. season, all, you know, uh, do you like it when I go? I know you up. weren't worried what I thought. You were I know, you yeah, I know. But I'm already there. I'm already you there. must be a little horny for the holiday. <laughs> yeah, I like that's a very good, good hat. So, you know, I put my Christmas lights up this year. And the uh, neighbors uh, are a wee bit, you know, upset because everybody's driving by my house. I didn't care. Oh, you I, got... I, I didn't care what they're all excited about. Well, it I looks think, like they're all out, the, out enjoying themselves yeah, on your lawn. Yeah, they're having a great time in the palm trees. They look really great to me. Yeah, I can see. I think you're going to have a popular lawn. Very popular. I know the lawn is, you know, there's lots of traffic, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, did you get any help with those or did you oh, do that hi, yourself? Oh, yeah, lots of help. Did it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, you know, be careful when you're uh, um, putting your lights on your palm trees. You might, you, know, you might make a little bit of an error. You never know what they look like when you turn them on. Okay, oh, that's true, lad. Anyway, it's, you know, it's Christmas time. I'm wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. Hold we your ha hat on, brother. My hat's falling off. We got no head holding on. It's windy in here. I know. What a Merry Christmas, anybody, everybody. Woo, yeah. And a Happy New Year. Or like you say, Happy Hogman Day. And like I say all the time, you're winning game three, where are you be? Hello? Huh. Well, Angus, you, you know, if you get a chance to go over to Angus's neighborhood, go over and check out his lights, get a few pictures, you know. It's, it's maybe symbolic for him, it's hard to say. <laughs> Pretty good looking lawn, lawn symbolic setup. Symbolic for, yeah. for Angus. So we're back, what's up? We're back, so we were just we're talk about, talking about, about, you know, high tech Christmas and how Technology's changed. Technology's changed. Um, um, I'm giving um, cryptocurrencies this now, year. Now, dude, that's as tech as it gets. Yeah, yeah. so this Can year... Can you wrap those? I, uh, no. <laughs> um, but what's interesting is I print off their key. Okay. I fold it up in a, a piece of paper, oh. and I put it in a Christmas card. Oh, because then they take their their they, their wallet and they read and the they code. And they scan. Well, oh, that's cool. And, and then they can load it all up in there. If they, their... if any of your family doesn't know what that is, just tell them to forward it on to me. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll accumulate it. I know them how to read those. You read how to read those. I haven't, I haven't learned how to give any away. I've only been a receiver yeah, so, so far. I'm, I'm, that's my this year. I'm, I've, I've asked. You want cash or crypto? crypto. And now I'm getting crypto. Nice. So. Not too bad. You're going to be draining your You're going to be draining, you're draining your my account. Wallet. Yeah, which is I'm going like, you know, I gave you this, and now look how much You know, a lot of those, remember we <laughs> talked about how a lot, a lot of those guys gave away, you know, paid eight bucks for a pizza, and now that today that would have been a million dollars or yeah. whatever. So, so and you know, Bitcoin's be careful. And trading at over, a little over $16,000 today. It was almost $20,000 on Sunday. Well, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you could go online shopping with Bitcoin and like it can yes. you could buy some gifts and just send them with Bitcoin as well, right? Exactly. So GYFT, the, the okay. website where you buy all the gift cards and so on, they accept they're one of the first to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. For Christmas. For online. all online for buying I could buy an Amazon card using Bitcoin. See, so that dude there's a tech change, right? So, so we went from like just Amazon packages to crypto to purchased items. Items. You know, and cryptocurrency then, as well as crypto And then send you an electronic gift card, not the wow. one that you do the, the scratch So up. all those crypto millionaires that made their million in the last month, they're going to have a Christmas giving away a bunch of stuff that ain't going to cost them really anything except their earnings. That's their earnings. They can just take it off the top. I mean, they might have made that much this week, depending on how much they gave I, away. Depending on what they did. I saw a beautiful Christmas story. A guy made a hundred, this was about a week old now, he made a hundred, he was at a hundred and seventy 
two million in crypto earnings. He was wealthy prior, invested yep. early because he thought it was amazing, and he said, "I have way more the money than I'll ever richer. need." He gave eighty-six million to eight different charities. Oh, that's nice. So about ten million each. Yeah. And he had it, it transferred the cryptocurrency to them. And oh, that's so true. that's awesome. What a story! That's you know, a, here's someone good. with the, that kind of wealth. It was totally unexpected. I think for a lot of these people that that if I was the there with that kind that. of level of yeah, can you imagine? Ooh, well, you're yeah. going to give away to family. That'll be, that's yeah. a good thing. Well, they could give it Everybody to Everybody gives to whoever they can give to. They could donate to Think Tech. It'd be nice to send yeah. a little to Jay. Yeah. You know, keep the studio keep going. Keep that for in mind as you think about who, what to, who to donate to, because it is a 501c3. So. Do we accept Bitcoin at Think Tech? Um, no, but I talked to Jay about setting that up. It's not that difficult. Gordo will transfer it. Send it to Gordo. Yeah, and, and I'll give transfer it, to, it over. Yeah, if you send, me, send it to me, just go right ahead. So that's, um, a, that's a major... Thing. That's amazing. I'm trying to decide if it's anti-consumerism or well, I mean, what? It's anti-retail for sure. Yeah. It's anti-banking. Well, I mean, I you, I used to give cash. Yeah, yeah. Right. I go to the bank, get cash, put it in the envelope. Sure. Now I give a, a key. They make cards for that. Yes. I wonder if they made any special crypto cards. Apparently, some guy was selling bitcoins it. on the street, some city. Oh, in New York, I saw was that. It New York. But they were actually the Chuck E. Cheese Chuck coins. Chuck E. Cheese coins. <laughs> Dude, he made money. <laughs> Like people didn't know. Yeah, people didn't know. Yeah. They were buying. Now, this is, again, idiot. I mean, well, there's one born every minute. So another great high-tech gift ah. and something that I need, um, and I have one here, it's, it's my um, uh, very special um, cone. It's a beard cone. A what? It's made in Sweden. I, have a, I do have a little brush. Yeah, see, I don't have a comb, though. See, so I got, see, I what is this? That, yeah, that, my Swedish beard Baxter comb. Baxter of California. Yeah, how's that? Wow. Nice. Special I mean, for beard. You know, if you're going to wear a long beard, uh, you know, yeah. men, men should be groomed. I mean, I know. Your, I, your I don't know when I'm going to trim this. Is that one of those? Or is that a, is yeah, that a, it's a knockoff. A no <laughs> knockoff. <laughs> Angus has the good one. Yeah. I think she, I should took it from the Pacific Club. <laughs> oh. I better bring it wow. back. Wow. Oh, that's from the... <laughs> okay. So, Very well. Anyway, so the beard comb is kind of a you know, beard comb is a good idea. That you know, if you're if you're uh, that's affordable. One of your family members has a beard and it's kind of messy. Maybe there's maybe a little message implied there, but you know, <laughs> get them a beard comb. Sort of help them out. I could probably an electric trimmer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so anyway, so we talked about so so you got all the different ways you can do it: eBay, Amazon, mm -hmm. electronic gift cards. Mm -hmm. But think about industries like uh, FedEx, which on the delivery stuff. Mm -hmm. Amazon, next year you're probably going to get your stuff delivered in a, a drone and get that dropped Ooh, off. That'd be awesome. So, you know, drone delivery. Well, I was, you know, th I, I'm thinking back to now when we were kids and like we would have to pile the presents for everybody. Yeah. Like, because we had my mom's we didn't Christmas, have that. then we had my dad. When we, I mean, I had all these yeah. cousins, so they all get them something. We some. didn't have a vehicle, so we you know. We had like a Volkswagen. <laughs> but no, you had a Rambler. Well, we had a Volkswagen after that. Oh, Because well, okay. it was a front loader. Oh. And the stuff would have to fit. Like oh, fit you, in that little deedle thing. Wrap it, yeah. Yeah. You know, and so we'd do that. I'm, but that's funny. I mean, you don't have to do that anymore. No. And, and trudging around in the snow and your galoshes and all that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Kentucky and, could be, we had, you know, sometimes did it you could get be, snow? it could be mild, but it could also be like miserable, like, you know, 10 below and icy yeah. and crazy. Well, we were in Canada. It was, you know, we were. You were, you were miserable. Yeah, was Most miserable. of you, had that three days of summer up there. Yeah. We turned, actually turned the heat up for Christmas. So we can't be. did fun. see. Yeah. So that was a little gift there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's make You only had to wear one pair of socks instead of three. Yeah. So yeah, we did that. Uh, I know. I kind of miss, kind of miss it in some ways. And there's some ways. Times have changed. Times have changed. I like visiting cold weather in the winter. So here's the question: Do you have a Christmas tree up this year at your no. house? I have a wreath. Okay, I do not have a Christmas tree up this year, but we have this um, uh, auction we were at for one of the fundraisers, and we they had this toy Christmas tree, all decoration kind of with fun toys. stuff with all stuff already on it. So we put that up this year. And, awesome. Yeah. Did you? Buy it for charity this year. I bought then, it for and bought it from a charity and then and made it as our Christmas tree. We um, I don't know, I don't know why we don't. But yeah. We just don't. Well, you don't have kids right here with you no. and things like that. No, and so. Then, so next year my granddaughter's coming. I probably will get a tree so just because she's going to be there. Because she, I think, would be used to. Yeah. I wonder how many people don't do year. trees anymore now that. Um, yeah, and I don't know if it's. In, I, I think in Hawaii it just seems. I don't know. To me, it's also a little bit of a fire hazard and stuff. But okay. you know, there's, wow. there's, uh, you know, I think about it. All right. Well, but speaking, we have a wreath. We got a wreath on okay. the door. So here's another, another gift that I saw that I think this one is going to be pretty popular. And I wish I'd found it earlier. How about the, um, oh, uh, the Star dude. Wars, to Star Wars toaster? Just in time. Just in time. Wh um, where do you get that at? That well, you have to go online. Just do uh, just Star Wars toaster. Do Star Wars toaster, and you can find that puppy. I wonder how much it. I'm surprised Angus didn't get one of them already. It's less than a hundred bucks. You got the hiccups? Hundred bucks? Less than a hundred dollars. 
To make toast? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> now, make, times have changed. To make toast. I didn't know a toaster was, cost $100. When was the last time you made toast? Good Lord, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a toaster oven. I don't have a toaster. Yeah. yeah so, but, you know, but hey, your Star Wars. Star well, Wars. We might get toasted, but we don't have toasters. Like, I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> toasted. Lord. That's, that's it for sure. Uh, and then the last one, I got one last gift, oh. and then we, we'll let's um, see. We'll kind of weasel away. How about the basket that case? That looks like something the, I'd have. The headband hoop game. Yeah, that, I don't <laughs> think I had that when I was a kid, but that looks like some <laughs> rather old packaging. Now, wouldn't that be fun? I, that one, I think I'm going to try and find. We could play it on the on, on the, the show. show. We have our guests. We couldn't play it. miss much though. Yeah, we ca could have our guests. Um, we could put it on Angus. Well, great. That'd be awesome. So that, that, I thought that was another That was a nice, well-rounded offerings. There's a plenty of stuff out there. If you find, guys find that head basket, give us a call. We'd like to, like to know where you found that. I oh, found that puppy as well. That's pretty good. So anyway, so Christmas is coming. Your shopping is all done. Um, there's, there's one person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I have not started yet. So uh, good man. just for the record, this is the 20th. I start today and I will probably finish tomorrow. So that's kind of how rapid fire Good happens you. here. You gave me my Christmas gift already, and I'm re and remiss, and I haven't given you yours yet. But well, it's, it'll be it's, it'll be. It's, um, uh, it's about giving. That's all I know. It's about giving. I'll give you the empty bottle back <laughs> <laughs> next year. <laughs> next year, <laughs> we'll pass it. I'll make a candle holder out of it. There you go. Very we, well. Yeah, we can do that with it. Anyway, so we want to just um, wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Yeah. You know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, enjoy, enjoy your the family. beach, man. You're in Hawaii for the holidays. Your you know. friends, you know, give everybody an extra hug. Um, yeah. We got our tax break gift from Donald the Trump. Government. Today. Yeah, think about be so, try to try to think about some gratitude. You know, yeah. be great, be be thankful for the things you have. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the especially the commercial. I see a commercial for people getting cars and stuff. all that kind of stuff. Now yeah. let's give you know give have some gratitude. Give. Go give, there and give. Give so. and be great and be thankful for what you have. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here, and we're going to wrap it up with our song as we. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Will you make me you wanna, wanna shout? Woo! Shout! <laughs> shout. Billy went off the table. Shout! Merry Christmas. Is that do we shake? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Come on, don't get me down and say. Don't don't get me down all night. Let me go now. Shout! Little touches now. Merry Christmas. <laughs>